Hi guys, welcome back. In our last video, I was showing you how we can build a multi-model agent using the Google's new agent development kit. In that particular video, we saw how we can uh, we can build multiple different agents like greeting agents, like farewell agent, and also a tool call, which all can be called from a root agent, like a weather agent V2 over here. And it does the routing for you based on the request that you are passing in. For instance, if you ask say hi, it's gonna send you the request to the uh, hi agent and uh, with, the, with the greeting agent and if you're going to send uh, by is going to send the request to the uh, farewell agent and if you're going to be asking a weather information then it's going to go and call this get weather tools that's how everything is working and we have seen it before and it was all just happening magically using this uh, google's agent development kit today we are going to go a level further and we're going to see how we can use the light llm library of the google's uh, agent development kit which can help you call different models not just using the gemini model so if you just go to our existing code that we were discussing before you can see that we have been using this gemini 2.0 flash express model and the flash model over here but what if i wanted to use the uh, model like the greeting uh, agent model uh, to use a different uh, different for instance model for instance i want to use the gpt uh, 4.0 model that i'm gonna paste it over here as you can see so this is a gpt 4.0 model the latest version and i wanted to really use it uh, over uh, in here so how do i actually use that well the way we can actually use it is we can just use this uh, from uh, google dot uh, adk dot and there is something called as models and there is something called as the uh, light llm i actually touched a bit about this in our last uh, uh, video as well but i want to really show you a practical demonstration of how you can use it we're also going to build a new tool called as a, a duck duck go search tool so that we can see that how this tool uh, can use the uh, greeting uh, agent model which is obviously this is the cloud uh, this is a gpt 4o model so we want to use this particular model um, for this duck duck go search we can also use the cloud model if you wanted to use it but i don't really have an api key so i'm just going to ignore it for now so we'll see how we can implement that over here so this is the get weather what i'm going to do probably is uh, instead of this uh, get weather uh, that we have got i'm just gonna get rid of it over here the, this tool uh, and i'm gonna create a, what is called as a um probably yeah over here uh, i'm just going to say i'm going to create a search uh, agent but for that search agent to work we need to write a method which is going to perform a search operation so i have written a very very super simple code uh, with the power of uh, chat gpt which helped me write this particular simple code to perform a, a duck duck go search so i just went and searched in the chat gpt like can you help me write a simple uh, method to perform a search in the uh, duck duck go uh, so it just gave me this particular uh, result as you can see over here and it has also suggested me uh, to use the dd uh, gs uh, library uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and add that over here uh, which is nothing but the uh, duckduckgo search and because this is the duckduckgo search we, we need to actually install it over here uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and stop that and i'm gonna say uh, pip uh, install a duck duck go search so let me go ahead oops sorry i should have done that in the um in the env so i'm gonna say source oops i'm gonna say source uh, activate that which is pretty cool uh, and then i'm gonna install this duck duck go search probably that's going to be installed for me there uh, and now i can uh, just go to the uh, cd uh, google uh, and i can just do the uh, adk web to perform the operation right so that is thing so i have installed this library right now uh, and now we can just use this uh, dd uh, gs which is the duck duck go search uh, which is going to basically do a very very simple thing so you're going to say this is the query that uh, tells you that you're going to perform a web search with the duck duck go with the provided query uh, and uh, and return the results and it is uh, returning the result with the uh, json uh, api uh, and you see that the default search uh, is maximum number of result is five and it's going to be returning in the this particular format that's what we have told that it should return the title uh, a url and the snippet that whatever that gets through and then it's going to return that for me and now we're going to format this particular returned uh, value uh, into uh, into this particular text that we're going to be appending as you can see over here this is 
just quite intuitive. So I really like that. So I'm just going to use the same exact code as a tool and I'm going to build it uh, with the um, with the agent. So we're going to fuse an agent over here and then we're going to call this particular tool like how we were doing before. And then we will be using this along with the root agent. Uh, so for doing that, I'm going to go ahead and paste this particular code over here, which is the search agent. And you see that we're going to call the uh, light LLM and obviously we're also going to get a light LLM error here as you can see that the light LLM does not exist So it's pretty good. Uh, we have this light LLM and once we have this particular agent You can see that this agent is doing very very super simple thing It's going to use this greeting agent model which is going to be nothing but our GPT 4.0 model that we are trying to use over here That's the model that we are using for search and I want to say the instruction over here is that you are in search agent. Your task is to handle the search query from the users. That's it. That is what this particular thing is going to handle. Uh, and uh, it is going to call the perform search tool that we have written uh, over here. Uh, and then uh, we are going to uh, we're going to see how we can actually make this particular agent to perform the operations. That is what this particular uh, agent is doing. So that that's what we have called the perform uh, search as well, uh, the perform search as well. Right. So the, now this is the search agent that we have got. So I'm going to copy this search agent. Uh, and in this particular uh, root agent that we have got, just this one that we were using before, so I'm going to probably call this as uh, the uh, root agent, uh, so root search agent. So this is going to be the search agent that we have got. And over here, uh, I'm going to change that the instruction is you are the main uh, weather agent. So instead of doing main weather, I'm going to say you are the main uh, search agent. Look at that. The um, GitHub Copilot is suggesting me that I need to use the search agent because the weather agent is not there. I've already written this code in my other windows. So that's why the um, GitHub Copilot is intelligently suggesting me this particular thing over there. So I'm going to just accept it. And you can see that now it has turned into the search agent coordinator. So you are the main search agent coordinator uh, in the team uh, who is going to primarily perform these operations. Um, and look at that. I'm going to accept all these changes. And instead of the uh, get weather, I'm going to completely return, remove those tools. Uh, and I'm going to just call uh, what is called as the search agent, right? So this is the agents that we have got. So greeting agent, farewell agent, uh, and the search agent. So we have got all of these over here. Uh, and I'm going to save it. Uh, oops. I'm going to save all the change. Uh, and now let's see how we can able to run this and perform a search operation. So this is quite exciting. Let's see how it actually works. So this time you can see that we are actually going to be uh, performing a multi-agent operation with multi models. So it's not just one single model that we'll be using. We are going to use multiple different models like the GPT model, the Gemini models, all in multiple different dimensions, um, multiple different agents. So this way it is going to be helping us to, uh, to reduce the cost and also perform a specific operation uh, which is uh, which the model is very good at for instance some models are maybe very good at uh, this operation and some models may be good at some other operation so you can choose among uh, yourself I know that the the cloud 3.7 is very good at the coding so we can use that model for the coding uh, agent and there are some models that are very good in the text summarization so we can use that particular model for those operations uh, well as that said I'm gonna go ahead and run the uh, ADK web and let's see what is going to happen. So it's going to open that over here. I'm going to say, let's see what's going to really happen. Yeah, I'm uh, expecting, I was just expecting this uh, light LLM uh, error there. The reason why this is happening is, I don't know, for some reason, even though you have this light LLM already uh, defined, it just gives you this error. Um, you, you probably need to just do a PIP install uh, light LLM, something like, oh, sorry, not little LLM. A uh, light uh, LLM, something like that. You need to install this particular library as well. And if it is not there, then it was just throwing me uh, the error last time as well. So this is the uh, light LLM. And over here, see this? Cool. Uh, and now I'm just going to go ahead and run the uh, ADK web this time as well. And let's see what's going to happen. So this was the same error which happened to me while I was trying out myself. Uh, and hopefully this time it works. So I'm going to say hi. And if I just do that, you can see that it is just working fine. And it's bringing that hello there, which is great. Uh, and I'm going to say 
what's the uh, weather uh, looks like in NZ today? So basically, I'm going to be just asking like a search operation. Um, so you can see that now it's going to transfer to the agent, which is the search operation. So it's not really uh, doing the... Uh, doing the uh, like weather calling, but rather it's calling the search agent right now. And look at that, this is bringing me all the search information. So this is the text that we have formulated within our code and it is coming, us for, uh, and it is coming out for us over here, which is amazing. Uh, and now I'm gonna say, what uh, is the USD to uh, INR uh, today uh, rates? Uh, and if I hit enter, let's see the DuckDuck uh, go search is also kicking in. You can see that it's gonna call the perform search uh, and it is gonna bring those informations for us over here. So these are all coming directly uh, from the web search for us and it's bringing all those information, which is quite amazing. So this is the multi-model uh, uh, agent that we have built over here. So now if I just say buy, then it is gonna call the um, the agent for us over here. So this is how we can actually do things. And if we just go to the perform search, you see that the search agent is being called. Uh, and it is bringing all those information. So all the tool callings and the information that it's retrieving is all coming out for us over here. So hope you got the idea like how we can build a multi-model uh, and multi-agent uh, much, much easily uh, using the Google's uh, new agent development kit, which is quite amazing. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one where we'll be building a few more things uh, using this new uh, ADK.